This is a rebirth. We are only as strong as our belief in each other. Yeah? Yeah. All right. All right, let's go now, Breeden. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. I said it. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. One, two, three. Eagles. Eagles. Junior, just a second. No pressure here. All you gotta do is be better than me in my first game. Yeah. All right, so what happened? Just aim for more points than turnovers. All right, and you'll do fine. This is your moment. Nice job. and welcome to this broadcast of Garden State IAA Basketball. I'm Joe Lamy, joined by Drake Hugo and Danny Hogger. We can't wait to get another season rolling, and we look to get a great matchup to kick things off. Well, a classic matchup with the Newark East Eagles playing host to the Burton Hornets. Both teams looking to improve on their final positions from last year. A win tonight would be a great step towards that goal. Bobby Erickson leads the way for the Hornets. They go against an Eagles team with quite a few new faces. Still, though, Newark is led by senior K.J. Day. And the crowd will be a factor here for the Eagles. This is the type of atmosphere you love to see at the high school level. New year and a new lineup. Day, the team captain, he'll now start at the two with newcomer Junior playing the point. Lack and Zadirko fill in at the forwards, and Marceda steps in to get the start at center. And the Hornets come in with their usual lineup. Luan and Dermanenko are in the backcourt. Star forward Bobby Erickson begins the game at the three. Ramadas and Aslanoglu fill out the four and five spots. No doubt the star of this Burton squad is Bobby Erickson. He's a gifted scorer and playmaker. And he's been with the Hornets for quite some time now. And he's been the star. And with Erickson, guys, you see his release and you know immediately he's a terrific shooter. He's going to have no problems putting it on the floor as well. That's true. I mean, Erickson plays bigger than he actually is, and that helps him finish on the inside. Colleges have shown a lot of interest in him since his breakout performance his sophomore year. He'll most likely be transitioning to shooting guard when he gets to that next level. And here's Burton. Pass to Levesque. Back to Dermanenko. Basket counts. Dermanenko taking what he sees on the offensive end of the floor. Nice job capitalizing from this area. Here's Marceda. Here's the Dirko. Not gonna go that time. Good D by Ash Ramadas. Here's Erickson. And the baseline jumper, no good that time. Now Lack on the wing junior. Back to Lack. Sheffield. Now Junior, right side. Marceda, covered by Ramadas. Return to Sheffield. Pass to Marceda. Just five on the clock. And here's Sheffield. He's guarded by Dermanenko. A nice shot by Lack. And with Junior, you don't want to only talk about who his father is, but it's a shadow he'll be under as long as he's on the hardwood. It might be the reason why Junior didn't immediately take to basketball as a sport. But the similarities in their games are already apparent. Junior looks to be just as talented as his dad was, even if he's a bit raw. Now here's Erickson. Zendirko grabs a rebound. And here are the Eagles. Back to Junior. Pass to Marceda. And James Marceda slams it in. One of the many reasons Junior's teammates appreciate him. He's an unselfish player who likes setting his guys up well. Dermanenko outside. Levec. Yes, and a nice assist from Vlad Dermanenko showing you the instincts he has as a passer. The Eagles with the lead. Marceda, quarter defending, inside. And that one's good for Junior. What a read there from Lack, recognizing the overcommitment and making the D pay for this mistake. 
Time called here as the Hornets decide to talk it over. Hornets and their roster, they aren't scared to play small if they need to. Looking at the rest of the division, the Hornets are one of the smaller teams overall. They just don't have that many big bodies in the program, but they know how to make up for it with defensive rotations. Don't be fooled, this team is still deadly, albeit a tad undersized. Starting the second quarter, and uh, about a minute gone by. Dermanenko outside. Here's the teardrop, and he takes it up and lays it in. And that'll tie this game up. Perfect touch on that shot with the rainbow arc right to the hoop. Down low, Junior, his second shot falls. He starts two for two. He can't allow Junior to get comfortable from there. Once he does, he goes to work. Outside, Erickson. Porter, Germanenko outside. Pass to Levesque. Over Junior. They get it back. Erickson, good. Inside, outside, it doesn't matter. Erickson just figures out how to torch the defense. Outside, Black to the inside. Now Marceda. Yes, and it's Junior picking up the dime. When you've got somebody that open on the perimeter, the kickout's the only choice. Burton with the ball, trailing by two. Outside, Erickson. Back to Levesque. Quarter number two and just under two and a half minutes played so far. Good D by Junior. Well, you have to love the charm of the Northeast Gym. The facility might not be top of the line, but it has a lot of history for the Eagles. And there have been talks about getting a new gym built on campus, but that's something that's a decade away on the school board's agenda. As you said, this gym just fits with the legacy of the Newark East Eagles. Sheffield, no good. The three from Bobby Erickson. Marceda pulls it in. The Eagles now on offense. Again, Newark East. Gotta love how active Sheffield is on the floor. He keeps up with the fast break and ends up finishing it. Ramadas outside. Levesque, beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Ten straight points in the paint. That has to send a clear message to the defense. It's like the Wi-Fi went down because this message has not been received so far. Tremendous effort from Junior. Clashes with some aggressive defense, but manages to release his shot and get fouled. He's gone two of two at the line so far. And so he makes both at the line that time. I love the aggressiveness, forcing fouls and getting to the line. It's part of why they're winning, attacking at every turn. Pass to Porter. Almost four minutes gone by into the second quarter of play. Germanenko with it. Now Levesque, covered by Junior. Yep, count it. And the last few seasons, the Eagles haven't had an easy time finding wins. For a while, it seemed you could always count on the Eagles to be at the top of this conference. That hasn't been the case lately. Hopefully, Coach Bishop has found the talent he needs to get his program back to the top. Well, if this ball game comes down to the rebounding battle, they'll be the ones coming out on top. Absolutely. They've had a strong game on that front, without question. Pass to Erickson. Over Lack. It's hauled in by the Eagles. You need a better look than that, Jay. You're going to take the occasional bad shot. It does happen, but make sure you learn from it. Don't do it again. And how about the dime from the big man, Marcedo, doing a great job finding his teammate. And the basket by Levesque. Some nice efficiency from him. No trouble getting his shots to fall now. Pass to Sheffield. Goes back up. Scoop to the hoop and in. 
And now we're seeing him find his rhythm on offense. He had a rough first quarter for sure, but he's bouncing back nicely here. Outside Erickson. Pass to Levesque. Takes a three. Unable to get that one to go. And so we've reached the end of the first half of play. It's the Eagles up six. And with the teams headed to the locker room, we'll step aside back shortly with the third quarter. And the second half of action just getting started here in our coverage of Garden State IAA Sports. And looking at Junior, the senior is exactly the type of guard the Eagles needed for this season. Absolutely. He clearly is a plus athlete. And even though he hasn't spent too much time perfecting his skills, the pedigree is there with who his dad is. And they aren't settling for anything outside here. And why would they? Last five shots have been in the key, and they've converted each one. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two here. And Erickson putting pressure on the D inside, which in turn draws the contact. Both shots are good from the stripe. The Eagles leading. Pass to Junior. Now is it Dierko. It's stolen by Ramadas. Dermanenko, he's covered by Sheffield. Dermanenko outside. Bobby Erickson for three. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Check out Ramadas' effectiveness around the rim. Only a sophomore and already so set on pursuing those second chance shots. Sheffield outside, up top black. Zadirko, pass to Sheffield, the reverse, and it's Junior missing. Well, seeing Junior out there, you can't help but think of his legendary father, Duke, one of the biggest names in the area. Nice take, however, a little too easy if you're asking me. A minute and a half of basketball played here in the third. To the middle, here's Marceda over Porter. Marceda, good. And Duke, a star here at Newark, who went on to have a great run at the collegiate level. And to call Duke a high school star doesn't even begin to paint the full. Everyone from that era knew who Duke was. I'm sure they're ecstatic to see what Junior can do. The three from Bobby Erickson. Zendirko grabs a rebound. His shot has been way off. And it's certainly a reason as to why they're behind. Here's Dermanenko. And Dave Zendirko with the block. So both teams making some changes here. Dermanenko up top. To the paint. And the basket by Levesque. Hornets shooting guard Dermanenko with a clean feed. He seems to have a great sense for offensive ball movement. Inside, Junior. And that one drops for him. And they've begun this half three of four from the field. Great start. Burton trailing here. And you look at the play style of Bobby Erickson, very much a modern wing who can play off the ball or initiate things for this offense as well. And Erickson might be lined up out on the wing, but he'll do pretty much everything you ask of him in this offense. Coach figured out very quickly this team is at its best when Erickson has the ball in his hands. And it's stolen away by Germanenko for the tie. That'll even the score. Things do get tough for Erickson inside, but some clever movement helps him beat the contact and get his shot. And the Eagles will call time here. So both teams changing it up here. Here's Lack. 
Pastor Jr. Outside, Black. Shoots over Luan. Left side, Black. Sheffield with the ball. Defended by Carter. On the wing, Jr. To Dirko with it. Sheffield outside. Back to Lack. Marceda guarded by Leftos. Down low. Pass to Zadirko. Lack. Now here is Zadirko. Six on the shot clock. And here's Lack. Out to the right wing. And the basket by Zadirko. Little showcase here of Zadirko's shooting ability. He's worked hard during his time as an eagle strengthened his mechanics. Just looking to get anything going offensively. Honestly, it feels like there's a lid on the hoop right now. The three from James. It's hauled in by the Eagles. And you know, they wanted that one to go down. Absolutely, they would have loved to tie it up right there. On the wing, Christian Sheffield. And we're two minutes here into the fourth. Pass to Junior, back to Lack. Yes, and it's Junior picking up the dime. They've been the more unselfish team tonight. Yeah, running the offense, and each guy willing to make that extra pass. Outside Luan, tipped away. Junior with the steal. To the middle. Terrific assist and nice finish. Solid play all around. They're really on to something. Running plays in the paint and finding a lot of success. When something works for you four out of five times, keep at it. Pass to Luan. Gets it to go from long range. This shows leadership on Luan's behalf. Knows his team needs a basket here and gets it. Junior. Good D by Ash Ramadas. And here's Burton. Four point game. Here's Aslana Glue. They get the rebound. And that one's good. Yeah, Ramadas supplying a bucket when they really need it. You can tell he kind of thrives under the pressure. Pass to Marceda. Back to Junior. And fouled hard that time. And he'll get two shots at the line. It's going to go on Michael Luan. And no good as the first free throw misses for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. It's funny to think that not too long ago, Junior wasn't even thinking about basketball. He was focused on football. It's obvious now that he made a good call to switch to hoops. Here's Erickson. Newark East grabs the miss. To the inside. And the basket by Zadirko. Terrific urgency from Zadirko on this play. He knows how essential it is that the Eagles score, so he gets productive. Right side, Levesque. We've played just over three and a half minutes now into this fourth quarter. Erickson. Tries a three. Marceda pulls it in. Closing down on leads is done by making smart plays on offense and taking care of the ball. It's not done by hoisting up those bonehead threes like that. And so they choose to intentionally foul. He gets the first, and that'll increase their lead to six. So he gets them both, and now it's a seven-point game. Those foul shots put them that much more in the driver's seat. Time called here as the Hornets decide to talk it over. Here's Dermanenko. Nails it! Oh, and that cuts the lead to five! 
What a shot there. German Nako commanding the rock and coming through in the clutch. And that's an intentional foul. First free throw is good. And that'll increase their lead to six. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop. It's going to take something special for them to come back now. Yeah, Drake, something special. And on top of that, a little bit of Lady Luck. Inside, Romanos. Count it! And now they trail by just four. Wanting to get recognized by scouts, Romanos, big buckets like this will certainly help his cause. And he can't get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And he ends up making the second. And that puts him up by five. It's come down to this. A very important possession. No room for error. Time called here as the Hornets decide to talk it over. Down low. And Dave Zadirko with the block. The work ethic of Zadirko on display. Great job hustling and timing the block just right. The three from Bobby Erickson. It's good. And he's brought him within two points. Burton Hornets star Erickson with a clutch bucket. His, honestly, fearless shot keeps him in this. And as expected, they use a foul to stop the clock. Time can be an enemy just as much as the score at this point. He drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. And the second free throw, no good. A tough break there. And here's Burton. Vlad Dermanenko on the wing. Drills the triple! Tremendous three to tie it up. Look how well set up Dermanenko is for this one. Finds a good shooting position and trusts his team to feed him the ball. Junior, he's covered by Levesque. Pass to Lack. Now Marceda. Junior inside. Zadirko. This is what college scouts want to see. And Zadirko delivering in a huge way there. And the final horde sounds chalk one up for the Eagles. They get the win here at... Kid, that was something special watching you out there tonight. <laughs> Yo, wait, wait up. Wait. Man. How you doing, kid? My name is Archie. Archie Baldwin. Dad and I were teammates. Yeah, I think I remember that. I can't remember, though. Sure, uh... I was just a little kid when you stepped in the bar. Well, he sure loved you. Talked about you all the time. There was a story about a purple jumper. You had to wear this thing every day or you were blue. Crying. Yeah, nice to meet you, Arch Archie. Yeah, nice it, to meet look, you. I, I'll get right to the point. Upside, off the charts. Strong basketball IQ, high motor, and you understand tempo. It's a package. Easy to sell. Sell? Yeah. Who? Like, scholarship? Exactly. Is that something you think? Something you know you can do? And it's only one game. You show me what you got in the next one, give me some high numbers, and we'll talk. But for right now, enjoy the moment. You said Archie, right? Archie Baldwin. Mm -hmm. 